I could just give up and say, this is an example of what doesn't work, but failure is just an opportunity to try something different. <laughs> we gotta see these cows. Here, Jer. Good cow. It's late November, 2023, and this will be my very last annual update of the stump nurse log trees. We're selling the homestead and moving to Missouri. I really wish I could show you how these trees do over the years to come. I wish I could see how these trees do over the years to come, but maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Stump nurse log trees are new trees planted in old rotting tree stumps. They are meant to eventually have exposed above ground tree roots. As the old stump rots away, the new tree roots are left in place as whimsical, naturally formed living sculptures. On to the business at hand. So this tree is now six feet tall, which means it's grown about a half a foot. That's pretty good. This tree is one of my favorites. I'd say it's the flagship of the stump nurse log trees. Tree number two. It's about four and a half feet tall. So it's grown about a half a foot too. That's pretty good for this tree. This is a particularly shady spot and it's been a pretty slow grower historically. Tree number three. This one is almost seven feet tall. Let me check. It's grown almost a foot and a half this year. It is really thriving here. This tree is still about three and a half feet tall. So it really hasn't grown very much this last year. It did really well the previous year, so it kind of surprises me. I still think it's a good spot, and the tree is still alive and it looks really healthy, so that's good. This last tree was a struggle. Here are some clips that I recorded earlier in the year. I mentioned in last year's Stump Nurse Log Trees project update that the tree that was planted here seemed a little bit dry. Well, that tree did not survive. I think this stump was just too far gone to hold enough moisture. I have built on-site containers around some of the other stumps to really pack in extra compost and provide enough surface area immediately around the tree to capture rain. Now, that might work here, but I really wanted to see if a tree could survive here without that kind of structure. I could just give up and say, this is an example of what doesn't work, but failure is just an opportunity to try something different, and I'm not quite ready to give up yet. My new plan is to mound up a volcano-like form of earth around this stump. That dam or levee may establish enough holding capacity to properly hydrate a new tree, and it'll be yet another interesting experiment in this stump nurse log trees project. And I have no need 
to replant the tree right away. <laughs> we gotta see these cows. Okay, this is early March of 2023, and I have no need to replant the tree here right away. So I'm gonna take my time with the heavy lifting on this one. Sorry, that's all I've got right now. This pile of goat manure and wasted hay in our dough enclosure will be a good resource for this project. I always have more of this kind of stuff than I know what to do with. It's now mid-April, and I've just mucked out the chicken run. And added it to the stump pile. One nice thing about taking my time with this project is rain will have a chance to soften this up and settle it down. This is now the first week of May. I had planned on taking more time than this to build up this volcano-like form, but I had to dig out and regrade the buck enclosure, which gave me plenty of soil to work with and accelerated my plans. There are two good times of year to plant trees, the spring and the fall. Let's plant a tree. As are all the other trees in my stump nurse log project, this one is a western hemlock. It is especially good at growing on nurse logs. I filled the middle with compost and mixed in some cedar chips, since that's what this kind of tree really likes to dig its roots into. I bought the smallest one I could, not to save money, but because smaller trees acclimate better than larger ones in my experience.
10 inches for the record. It's now June 8th. I didn't see this happen, but it's pretty clear from the evidence. Hoof prints. Cows have disturbed this mound and the tree inside. The tree was knocked over a little bit sideways. It's just fine, but really it could have very easily been uprooted. So I'm going to have to reinstall that temporary fencing around this stump. To do that, I'm going to need to do a little more digging and partially bury the fence to help keep it in place. And here we are. This flimsy fence really wouldn't stop a cow, but cows don't seem to test fences the way goats do, so hopefully this will be enough of a deterrent to keep them out. Because the fence is considerably higher than it had been before I piled up the soil, I'm gonna have to water through the fence, not over it. This tree died while we were looking for our new homestead. It had rained here while we were looking for that homestead, and the other trees survived. I think this leaky old stump just could not hold enough moisture, even with all the soil piled up around it. Or maybe there was enough canopy cover that not as much rain actually fell down on it in the first place. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I don't have any time left to try again. I'm going to be in Missouri, and I won't be here to tend a newly planted stump nurse log tree. I don't want to end this video on a disappointing result. Remember this wheelbarrow planter? I ended up using it to grow volunteer trees. These two trees have done really well and I've got a great place to transplant them. They will be officially the very last things that we plant here at Ivy Acres Homestead. This slope down here in the ravine has plenty of organic matter for those trees. I know because I put it here from what I mucked out of the chicken run the first few years that we had chickens. It's aged well, and I also know there's plenty of decomposing log pieces down there so these are going to be some lucky trees if they survive. I do hope they survive because when they get bigger, I want their tree roots to help stabilize this slope. Thanks for watching. Please like and share these videos and subscribe to our channel.